Hello everyone, and welcome to our channel. Today we'll be talking about Fat Tom. Fat Tom is an extensively recognized acronym used in the food service industry to identify and prevent foodborne illness. What does Fat Tom stand for? Fat Tom stands for food, acidity, time, temperature, oxygen, and moisture. All of these are crucial factors that contribute to the growth and survival of harmful bacteria in food. Even though bacteria can adapt to their environment, these are certain conditions that promote bacterial growth more than others, and understanding these conditions can potentially help reducing the risk of bacterial infections and food poisoning. Let's start with the first letter, F4 food. Food provides a source of energy and nutrients for bacteria to grow, reproduce, and survive. In order to prevent the growth of harmful bacteria, it is important to ensure that food is handled and stored properly. This includes keeping raw and cooked foods separate, using clean utensils and equipment, and properly washing your hands before and after handling food. Some high-risk foods are moist protein-rich foods such as seafood, cooked rice, and dairy products. The second letter is A for acidity. The acidity level of food plays an important role in preventing the growth of bacteria. Acidic foods such as citrus fruits, tomatoes, and vinegar can help to inhibit the growth of bacteria. It is important to note that some types of bacteria thrive in low-acid environments, such as those found in meats and dairy products. The acidity or alkalinity of food is measured by its pH from 0 to 14. Foods with a pH lower than 4.6 are safer as most bacteria will not grow in that environment. After, we have the letter T for time. The longer food is left at room temperature, the greater the risk of harmful bacteria growing to dangerous levels that can cause illness. Food should not be left out for more than two hours, and in hot weather conditions, for example higher than 90 Fahrenheit degrees, this time limit should be reduced to one hour. Food that has been left out for too long should be discarded, as reheating may not kill all the bacteria. The four letter is T for temperature. Temperature plays a crucial role in controlling the growth of bacteria. Bacteria grow best at temperatures between 40 degrees Fahrenheit and 140 degrees Fahrenheit or 4 degrees Celsius and 60 degrees Celsius, this is called the temperature danger zone. Cooked food should be stored at temperatures below 40 degrees Fahrenheit and above 140 degrees Fahrenheit, and a food thermometer should be used to ensure that food is cooked to the appropriate temperature. For more information regarding the temperature danger zone, check our video in the link that I added in the description. The fifth letter is O for oxygen, almost all foodborne pathogens require oxygen to survive and grow, while others grow in oxygen-free environments. Oxygen can cause spoilage of food, so it is important to store food in airtight containers to prevent the growth of aerobic bacteria. Botulism is a rare type of foodborne illness caused by a specific type of bacteria called Clostridium botulism and that grows only in the absence of oxygen. Lastly, we have the letter M for moisture. Water is necessary for bacteria to grow, which is why it is important to keep food dry and to prevent excess moisture. This can be achieved by storing food in dry environments and properly wrapping food to prevent moisture from accumulating. Perishability of a food is related to the water activity level and moisture content. The water activity level is measured on a scale of 0 to 1. Bacteria, yeast, and mold multiply quickly with a higher water activity level for example in foods such as meats and cheeses where the water activity level is above 0.85. In conclusion, we can take the necessary steps to prevent the growth and spread of harmful bacteria in food by minimizing the factors that contribute to bacterial growth. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed our video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more upcoming content. We wish you all the best and hope to see you again soon.